Good morning, everyone. I've been reflecting a lot uh, these past few days as I come to the end of my second year as head teacher at Fernhill School. And I can hardly believe two years have passed because it's been the most extraordinary, I'm sure you will agree, and challenging of two years. But that's what happens when you reach milestones. You think back and you reflect. Earlier today, I said goodbye to our preschoolers who were going off to, who are going off to primary one from the nursery and in, in the nursery graduation. And I'm saying goodbye to you as our primary seven pupils. You're moving on to S1 next year. And that's another milestone. And it will cause you to reflect. It will cause you to reflect on your time at Fernhill Primary School before you move in to Fernhill Secondary School. So when we reflect, we think about all of the good times. We think about times of challenge. And there's been lots of those over the past year and a half. But when I reflect, what I think about most is how strong we have all become, how resilient we have all become throughout those challenges. And as you go into secondary school, you will go there stronger and more resilient than ever. So I wish you all the very best as you leave primary seven and move into S1. And I very much look forward to continuing growing our very strong relationship as part of the Fernhill School family. And I think Miriam is going to welcome us all to Mass this morning. Miriam, I'll just pass you by. We would like to welcome you to our Mass today. We thank you all for joining us for this celebratory Mass for our years in Fernhill School. Today's theme is going forth. Very soon we will be going forth from the primary department of Fernhill School. We are excited about going to the secondary department and the challenges that will face us there. With us we will take the confidence, the pride and the sense of achievement gained through our primary school education. We also know that God will be with us there as he is with us here. We are here today to remember, to pray and think and hope for our future. We want to thank God for all our times together, for the friends we have made, for all we have learned from all our teachers in our time at primary school. Some of us have been here since primary one, while others have joined the class over the years. So, with a feeling of excitement, we begin our Mass. Please stand. who rules heaven and earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. And we're going to have a votive mass in honour of your patroness, Mary, our blessed all, during the summer holidays. But she will always be with it. These most sacred mysteries. Let's humble ourselves before God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. You came to call the sinner, Christ of mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, 
may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. And I'd like to invite Catherine, who's going to lead us in the first reading, to please come forward. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. May God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ send you grace and peace. I never stop thanking God for all the graces you have received through Jesus Christ. I thank him that you have been enriched in so many ways especially in your teachers and preachers. The witness of Christ has indeed been strong among you, so that you will not be without any of the gifts of the Spirit while you are waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promises made by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to the hill country of Judea. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child in her womb leapt with for joy and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave out a loud cry and said of all women, you are the most blessed and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes. Blessed is she who believed that the promise made by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exults in God my Saviour. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. In the Gospel that we have just heard from St. Luke, we are given the account where our Blessed Mother goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who is in great, great need. She heard the word of God through the angel Gabriel that she was going to be with child, and she heard that her elderly cousin was going to have a baby. And she acted by going out to visit her through an arduous journey. She goes down to visit her cousin, who is in need. And within that, we have the vocation of each and every single one of us, the vocation of every Christian, to be men and women of both word and work, to hear the word of God, to nourish ourselves with the sacraments, to spend time in prayer, to give us the energy to be our Lord's hands and his feet here on earth. And that's an invitation for each and every one of you today as you come to this crossroads in your life as you move to secondary school, that as we heard in the first reading from St. Paul, that we carry forth all of those good things, all of those experiences, all those friendships that we've forged, all the goodness that we have learnt through our seven years in primary school and carry that then on to secondary. When I was a little boy, and I'm still quite little as you can gather, I can hardly see over this ambo this morning, I was sent to the head teacher's office. I think I was being naughty. Don't know what I did, but I was there anyway. And above her desk, she had a beautiful tapestry. And it read, the greatest thing you can give a child are roots and wings. And when I was a little boy, I didn't really understand what was meant by that. But then as I grew and became a teacher myself, I realised that the greatest thing that you can be given is to be nurtured, 
to be given the roots of learning all of the various different things that you know and then given that invitation to be free to leave like a bird and to take your position in society no matter what that may be. And you certainly have had that experience at Fernhill School to be nurtured by your teachers, by your parents, those around you, to form you into the young men and women that you are, that you're now ready to take this step to the future, to broaden your wings and your horizons. So we give thanks to God for all of that today now. And we ask that our Blessed Mother be with you, that she intercedes for you and presents each and every one of you to her son through her immaculate heart. The greatest thing you can give a child are roots and wings. And we give thanks to God that you certainly have been given them in these years that have gone past, but we now we look to the future with great expectant hope. I'd like to invite Farrell and Aidan, who are going to lead us in our bidding prayers, to come forward, and I invite you all now to stand. Turning to our Heavenly Father, we present to him our needs and petitions, confident that the Lord Jesus always hears the prayers of his children. God our Father, Thank you for all the teachers who work to make our school a safe, happy and caring place in which to learn. We give thanks in this Mass for their guidance and support. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, you give us our parents to love and care for us. Through them, we come to know how much you love and care for us. Bless them always and keep them close in your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God our Father, we ask you to bless Father Murnium who visits our school during the year. We give thanks for the many ways in which he has helped all of us come to know you. Bless him and his priestly work in the parish. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God our Father, we ask you to bless us as we move on from primary school. May we always value the gifts of friendship, care and compassion. May we always be sensitive to the needs of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we take a moment now to turn to Mary, our Blessed Mother, our great advocate, the patroness of your school. We implore her motherly help for all of the children and all of the families of our school. As we pray as one family, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord our God, you have heard the prayers of your children this day. Grant them, for we make them in your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacramental offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim sing together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we stand, and at the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. to you. If you will, um, I would invite you to stand um, and just place out your, your hand in front of you. If you require a blessing, please stand also, but place your arm across your chest. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Primary 7 would like to thank all the teachers and staff who have worked with and supported us throughout the years. We would especially like to thank Miss Gillespie who has taught us with smiles and love. 
We would also like to thank Mr Murray who stepped in when Miss Gillespie was away, who was such great support during lockdown. Thank you both for always being there for us. Thank you to Mrs Campbell and to Mr Donnelly for always making sure we are safe and happy. The Fernhill family is a kind and caring environment where you can always be yourself. Thank you for continuing to be there for us during our transition to secondary. We would like to thank our parents for guiding us in, on this journey through primary school. They have always believed in us and our interests and talents. Lastly, we would like to give a special thanks to Father Mornian for supporting and guiding us through our faith journey. We greatly appreciate it. We are really looking forward to this next chapter in our lives. Thank you. Thank you, Alaria, for your very gracious words of thanks. And I would just like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very well and good summer holiday. Rest well and so that you're all refreshed for when you come back um, in August, bright and bushy. Does that sound like a plan? Good. And of course, when we go on holiday, we don't take a holiday from God. Make sure we stick to our prayers and let's pray for one another um, during this time. And I ask a very special, um, and I would really, really love if you would say a little prayer uh, for her um, in these days, because she's very, very sick. So I would that you're always welcome um, to come to St. Column Kills uh, for Holy Mass. We have six Masses over the weekend, a lot of uh, different times, and you don't have to book any more. You just simply um, turn up. So if you want to come um, and see me over the summer, if you're missing me so much, you can come. Um, to, to St. Colum Kills, you're always very, very welcome. God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.